Hello everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card is for my new team member and she'll be 60 on the 4th of February which is the day this will be shown. Today is actually the 31st of January. To make this card I used a 5 and 7 eighths by 5 and 7 eighths square um, card base so that is half of a no not half an A4 sheet cut at 5 and 7 eighths folded in half I used two pieces of white cardstock at 5 and 6 eighths square so that's 5 and 6 eighths by 5 and 6 eighths one for the inside and one for the outside the flowers and the numbers I've already cut and stamped. Um, you've seen me use this stamp set before, I've used it a few times. And in fact, the card that you'll see on the 6th of February also uses this technique that I'm doing today. Um, as that card is already recorded and ready to be released on the 6th of February. This one, I waited till now to record it. Um, the flowers I have done in Highland Heather. So I've stamped them and cut them out already. Using the dies from this stamp set. Right, we need three masks. I'll take them out now. Um, yeah, the other stamp sets I'm using is the retired one. Oh, oh no, it's not retired. It's, it's in the annual catalogue. It's oh so eclectic. I'm just going to use that leaf image. Also going to use love what you do, and I'm just using that leaf image. There. And this is a new cling stamp set. It's a two box stamp set, 51 stamps in all. It's in the occasional catalogue and it's called Well Said. And as you can see, I've actually put the stickers on this one, apart from one. It's going to fall out. Right. This one, it says hello. I didn't put the sticker on right and I took it off and it took the plastic white backing off so this will not stick now so be very careful when you stick on these new cling um, sticker stamps stickers as they are very sticky they also stick very hard in your box. Just place them, don't pat them down if you do that. I've done it on some and some I haven't. Um, some of these aren't on correctly, but I didn't want to take them off. I should just try and ignore the stickers when I use the stamps. So that's it. The dies for the numbers is a retired stamping up numbers I think I think they're retired stamping up numbers I don't know I can't remember I do I know I've got stamping up ones and I think it's these um, and the TH has come from this and I just cut that little bit out and got the letter in now and that's an X cut, that one. Again, the numbers are a different size. I've got three sizes, plus the big stamping up ones. These are X cut as well, these little ones. So that's where I've got them from. All right, I, I do and I don't need a 60th birthday card. I don't want another one like this. My sister Yvonne, she'll be 60 on the 26th. 5th of February but I want to do her a different one 
so to do this one I'm going to actually make it 63 for my big sister Janet as she's 63 this year so I have cut out a 6 and a 3 and a third so that's what I've cut out right to get started put that there so I can see what I'm doing and get your one of your white card pieces and get your mask you need three masks from the flower stamp and then just place them wherever oh, it's a bit low there. you want your flowers to be so mine are going to go that way no I love that one straight tip that a bit and tip that a bit there we are and that's what I want then you get your oh so collector and I've got the wrong one this one I want this one's a pattern one I don't want the pattern one I want that one and with old olive ink What we do, we do three of these around each flower. Now I can't remember if I stamped off. Let me see. Yeah, I stamped off. So just stamp off and stamp on. Press extra hard round by the paper. One. So, oh, I never stamped off. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll do them a bit darker. Three. One. Two. Three. Round that one. And then one, two, I can only get two round there, let's and then get a little one in there, three. Clean the stamp off. this little one the little leaf we need mossy meadow and then just go over how many did I do of these oh quite a few so I just went over there where the leaves were or the other leaves are and then just put some round each flower put two together there and we'll put one there
That'll do nicely. And that's finished with that. You can lift these off now. And as you see, you're left with blank spaces. That's so you know that you just put these in there upon dimensionals. Ugh. Like that. I think that looks really pretty, that. I like that colour. Right. To put the not put these on yet. Right, sixty three at the top and sixty and third. Now with Highland Heather. We want to put move them, we don't need them. The word birthday under the RD third. And then we want to put happy up by the six. I think that looks really nice with our flowers on. So let's put this card together, get our glue, and our card base. Let's put the 63 on first. Already put the backings on this because they're little and fiddly. That's it. And with the third, I just stuck that down with a little bit of glue. Stick the flowers on. And 
nice pile of dimensional toppings at the side of me. There we are. Quite a nice, effective, I think, car. Happy 63rd birthday. Right, the inside, what I did, I did the leaves again. So, now this time I will stamp off. Stamp off and then just put them in the corner. Stamp off. And I will use Old Old Love again, but full strength and just pop a little one in there. how I decorated well no actually I decorated the inside I stamped off the number 60 using the number stamp set and I put at least you're always younger than me <laughs> which you will be because I'm 61 two days later and that has also come out of here where is it Um, I think it come out of this stamp set, maybe not. No, it didn't. I can't remember what stamp set that come out of. I need to have a look. So we'll stick this inside. get that from that's annoying me now That is definitely annoying me. I can't remember what set that come out of. I will have to look into that. So, now we have it. That is today's card. I haven't put any gems on it. Shall I put gems on it? Yeah, let's put some gems on. Some rhinestones on. What we could do? Oh no, they're gold. Let's put 
one of these near each flower. Do the same on this one for Jane. I hope you like it. <coughs> I think they're really pretty. Oh, if you do, give us a thumbs up. If you like my cards, please subscribe and press the bell button next to it and you'll be notified of any more cards that I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday all I can say is now thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon bye